Hey, hello, uh, Bobby Shields here at Dog Bone Knives. I'm getting ready to head out to Colorado. This is the knife I'm going to take with me this year. And I'm going to try it out. Uh, it's kind of a, a small little bird and um, trout knife, I guess. It's small. It's got the dog bone, which is a uh, mule deer antler that uh, my we happened to get off the side of the road because we ran up, or I did, I ran over it. So I've still got one side of it, my buddy's got the other one. So anyway, I'm going to take this one out. And I don't know if you could see this or not. Real good, there we go, a little bit. My little aggressive juking right there on the back of it, do a little file work on it. Now this right here, I sanded after I applied the, the chemical dip to it, the ferric chloride, and I done a hamon pattern on it. Not much of one, just kind of covered it up. We got the edge real hard, and it it's making the hair bounce. So, I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's just, I just touched it to me. So it's rather sharp. So, I'm going to take the camera along. I'm not going to post this right now, but anyway, this is what I'm going to test out out there and see. It's a nice little knife. It's a little, if you got smaller hands, it's, it's a good one. I've got four or five cut out just like it. A little different profiles on each one of them. But anyway, this is mule deer handle, mule deer antler handle. Got my little, just a quarter inch landry hole in the back of it there. And everything. And I uh, made by Kydex Press. I'll show that to you. And everything uh, later on, I guess. Anyway, I made a case for it. Made a knife sheath for it. Out of Kydex. It goes on. Put it on there. So that you go on your belt. It's got a little memory on it. You could either put it on traditionally or slide it down on there and I've got a ferro rod on it and this is also the tip off the mule deer antler okay now these ferro rods not a lot of people know it I guess or whatever but anyway this black coating on them is just a coating for shipping to use them you actually got to scrape this off so you know or they just don't spark good. So anyway, you take that off, and then they spark. I made this. It's got a little crook in it. Fits you, fits your finger just nice. So you can hold on to it, and then strike a knife. Made a little, a little ferro rod holder on the on the sheath, and I put I put the uh, the kydex, the washers here, the little rivets like that. The rivet uh, anvil and mandrel I got to to do this with, uh, excuse, uh, it's not worth a flip. <laughs> so anyway, so the back side of them that I do are on this one. If you could see that just right, not maybe, but anyway, they're awful. I mean, awful, awful, awful. I'd probably drill it out and do it again, but this is a prototype knife sheath, and this is kind of a prototype knife. So, anyway, I put it in there and it, it snaps in real good. It ain't coming out, so everything right there, and it's got to fix it so you got a nice little, put a little edge on it right there so you got a nice thumb out on it. It's a little tight yet, but still, it's the way it's supposed to be. That way it won't fall out. And I put it all on there with the Chicago screws. I couldn't find any black, so I used the brass. Maybe they won't reflect light too awful bad, but anyway, so put that in there. Fixed it up. This, so this will be what I do and hopefully hopefully we will see me uh, 
elbow deep or shoulder deep in a in a big elk or a mule deer which I have tags for that and I have cow tags for both Colorado and Wyoming which were only 15 minutes away from Wyoming where my buddy's got his house so anyway so we figure we might as well we're out there so uh, we get a whole month of hunting a little over a month and uh, it's open out there now from October 15th to so till November 30th so that gives me quite a while there to find them hunt to them and I've been kind of under the not had the best year of health I've got carpal tunnel in this wrist right here in my right one real bad and I got a tore left rotator cuff and I have uh, a bone spur or a narrowing in my neck that they're putting pressure on one of my neck on one of my nerves that goes down to my shoulder and <laughs> did a little beat all I've had uh, heel spurs or bone spurs in my heels or plantar fasciitis so I've not been walking too much so my hunting's gonna be very limited and fortunately where I'm a hunting at most of it's prairies rolling hills and prairies especially in Wyoming out there I mean true it is it you know 9500 feet in elevation but that's everywhere <laughs> and then the top of the mountains probably 10 5 maybe 11 at the most and I'm not gonna walk up there it took me five hours last year and I walked two and a half three miles a day for every day anyway for two months so anyway but get back to the knives enough about me so hopefully this and my my other knife that I made last year that's got the elk antler on it uh, I'm gonna carry these two I always carry two to three knives with me always always carry two to three knives with me if something happens you know you got a backup sometimes that you dull them where you can't do anything you wedge them and use them for unintended purposes uh, and you break one well you gotta have something else so anyway but that's uh what i'm doing with that oh yeah in the back of this it's 1095 steel so if you find a a, a real good rock uh, a number seven on the scale of rocks like flint and chariot and, and a few others you can start a fire with this as long as you got some fire cloth char cloth and I showed you how to make that in another uh, episode that's the reason more or less that I've got this sanded I've got it sanded I was gonna paint it on there the and re-etch it and, and color it then I thought nah I might, might need to spark it one time or two so I figured I'd just leave it. I'm going to wear it in my hands. So, anyway, like I said, it's a metal knife, prototype, and a prototype knife sheath. And I have started on another one, knife sheath, that kind of, well, whatever I've done with it. Uh, you have to forgive me. I've got a messy, 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 messy shop here. I'm trying to get ready to go to Colorado, so... Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. Now, uh, here's this one. Okay. I've not put a handle on this uh, for anything yet, so anything. So, you, this is just a little bit thicker handle, or I'll work it on down a little bit, do a little different with it. But anyway, I've started with this one on another one right here. Sheath. Another prototype deal. This one. Is left-handed so I don't know how many South Paws is out there that likes to have knives but I'm I will offer right and left-handed knife sheaths I'm gonna try to find some leather and do a little more on, on the leather works try to see what I can do and then I might just wind up buying them and to put my knives in and again I may just make you know see what it how it goes and if I have my shoulder operated on, I'll be limited to what I can do. So with that for a while, 
so I'll just do whatever I can one handed but anyway that's that's the thing there I don't know like I said I got two buddies two good two real good friends that are both left handed and they're completely backwards to everything that I know but anyway <laughs> I figured that I've made them left handed sheets before so uh, on a couple of knives so anyway that's what I'll offer these you know when I go to selling them and everything I said you know hey if you like this and everything I do have a patreon page that uh, you know that you could go to whatever and uh, you or you can contact me through this or whatever and or at my email at uh, red 93 toy at yahoo.com you can do that and see what we can come up with but like I said I'm gonna be gone uh, for about six or eight weeks six to seven weeks something like that but I will not post this right now I'll wait till I get back and then I will kind of piggyback it with this I know I ramble I go on and about the uh, the length of my videos I don't edit I, I hit myself on the thumb with a hammer well I've done that and if me hitting my thumb saves you from hitting your thumb on the, that that's good it's great everybody learns you know my mistake everybody learns that's the way I got it figured I used to teach men how to do their job how to do the job my way so that way I could go 30 years from now and walk back on the job and tell who done it whether it's me or my good friend or whatever at work and uh, which we lost this year uh, uh, he's a good dear man loved him to death anyway but we can always tell who done who done what job and whatever else just by walking and look walking on the job and taking some ceiling tile out and looking we could tell I mean it's just different styles and everything but anyway that's the way it is with this I'm not saying my ways the right way no <laughs> no I'm not and I'm not saying I'm the best there was. No, I'm not. And or anything else. So, but I try. And that's an A for an effort on this. Oh, yeah. One more time before I forget. This knife is not cryo treated. I didn't have time or the knives ready to cryo treat. So, I did not cryo treat this knife. It's just straight. I took it, put done the heat treatment and dipped it in oil let it set in oil for a little bit took it out hung it up let it drip a little bit and then I tempered it at 450 for one hour that's all I've done to it other than the ke chemical, chemical uh, etch or the ferric chloride so and these these uh, kydex cases regardless of what you do they're going to scrub the finish off. I mean, it's just part of that. I mean, that's all it's going to do, scrub the finish off. So, I hope you can see that. Oh, anyway, there it is. And the leather won't do that, but, you know, they fall, they, if you don't put a snap on them, they will fall out of the leather case. This is form-fitting. So, and it snaps in real good like I said it does not come out so anyway I'm gonna go for this one right now and uh, like I said I won't edit so this one may be wind up into be two or three different ones then again I might just go ahead and post this one before I go just for the heck of it I said I wasn't but maybe I will I, th I think I will so anyway Till next time, uh, God bless, happy hunting, stay safe, and keep all, you, all 10 of your fingers and toes and everything out of the way. And if you do like this, please do a like, do a share, and like I said, I do have a Patreon page, so it'll be listed either on the Dog Bone Knives or by my name, Bobby Shields. So anyway, anyway, thank you, God bless, see you.